Okay, next up in our JavaScript interview series, we're going to be talking about some quirky little features in JavaScript, specifically having to do with operators and the precedence that the operators have between each other and how JavaScript will automatically cast values between different data types depending on which operators you're using. All right, so question is, with these three expressions, first, second, and third, what will be the output of these expressions? So what's the value going to be of exclamation mark plus bracket times or array times array? What is the value of that going to be? Uh, if you want the, your own copy of this code, you can find the link down in the description. And I'll be back in just a second to talk about the solution. Okay, welcome back. So, talking about this, understanding the precedence of all these different operators. Now, we're using the logical not, the unary plus, the multiplication, and the addition or concatenation character, and as well as the length property which belongs to strings and arrays. Okay, now luckily we have a handy dandy little table here on the Mozilla Developer Network site. You can find this table, and I've got the link to it down in the description, of all of the operators that you can find in JavaScript and their order of precedence. So 20 being the highest number, these are the ones that get done first, all the way down to number one, which gets done last. So you can see here the comma operator is the last one to get applied. Now we are in our example here, we are only using addition, which is right here, multiplication, logical not and bitwise not. So, uh, sorry, the unary plus and the logical not. So some number 16s, number 14 and a number 13, and they will be applied in that order. Now, if you've got multiple ones in the same category, like we do with the logical not and unary plus, they will be applied right to left. So the one that's on the right will be done first and then going towards the left. All right, let's jump back to our code and see what we can find. All right, in our first example here, let's, um, here, I'm gonna comment out Oh, actually, we haven't talked about the solution yet. Let me bring that up. So if we run this code, what we're going to be getting for the answers here, if you just want the answers, 0, 1, and 9. So that means that this will give us 0, this will give us a 1, and this will give us a 9. So let's talk about how we get to that from this strange <laughs> string of characters. Okay, I'm going to comment out now these console log statements because we'll be testing with some other console log statements. First and foremost, this is the one that gets done first in this first line here. We have a logical not and a unary plus. The unary plus is being applied first to the array. Now what the unary plus operator does is it wants to convert something to a number. So what do we get as the number for an empty array? Zero. Okay, simple enough. An empty array is equal to the number zero in terms of being cast with this unary plus operator. Now, if I add on to that an exclamation mark, the logical not operator, what this does is it takes whatever's to the right of it, it converts it to a Boolean and then it flips its sign. So a zero is what was there. So it's converting that to a Boolean, which makes the zero become a false, and then it flips the sign, so this will become a true. So if I save that and run it, sure enough, there it is, true. Okay, so we've learned a couple things here. We can say that the unary plus plus this will give us a zero and we know that this plus the logical plus the unary plus this is going to give us true the boolean okay now that's going to be my first conversion here i'm going to end up with basically what looks like true times this well we're talking about a mathematical operation, so it has to deal with numbers. So this is going to become 1 times 0, which 
anything times zero is going to give you zero. So that's what we get. That's where we get this answer from. The second one, very similar to this. We're going to start off with that same expression here. So we've got a unary plus and a logical not. Next in precedence is the multiplication, and the final one is going to be this plus. So that's going to be the last one, and this is the addition, not the unary plus. This is an addition because there are two operands, not just one. All right, so we know this being done first, we saw up here what this resulted in was a true. This became a zero, and then when we threw this on, it became a true. So our first step is to say true plus this times this. Now, the next operator is going to be the multiplication one. Well, I've got two multiplication things going on here. Or, sorry, two operands with empty arrays. An empty array times an empty array is zero times zero. Simple enough. Has to convert them to numbers. And we know from up here that it became a zero. So I have true plus zero times zero. And zero times zero is zero. So we've got true plus zero. Now to do addition, we're not doing unary plus here. We have two operands. So this becomes one plus zero, which gets us to our answer of one. Okay, so hope you're starting to see how this works. In the third one, this is the fun one. How do we get to nine from this? Well, we know that this first grouping here was gonna become true. So that's gonna be a true. Now there's also a logical not operator here. So this one and these ones will be the first things that are done. So inside of here, we have true. And then we've got the empty array and then this not empty array. So the logical not operator converts something to a Boolean and flips its sign. Okay, so converted to a Boolean, it's a true. Flipping its sign, it becomes a false. Like that. And then we're Putting these things together. Now, with an empty array as part of an expression like this, what we're actually going to get is it's going to be like a string concatenation. So let's do another console.log here. We want to write out, just so we can see it, an array plus an array. What do we get for that? What do we get for this? And we'll do one more inside of here. What do we get with true plus an array? So let's take a look at these things to see what we're going to get. This top one right here, it's not showing anything up because it's an empty string. This is actually giving us an empty string. When you take two arrays and you try to concatenate them together, an empty string is what you get. It treats this as concatenation. Here, false. That's what we're getting here. And if we take true plus the empty array, we end up with true. And you notice how this is white and this one's yellow? This yellow is actually a Boolean. This white is a string. So this is actually doing a conversion of the true to a string. All right, with these things in mind, let's go back to solving this. So we have a true, we have a false, and we have an array, and we're concatenating things together. So what it wants to do is it wants to treat everything as if it were a string. So this is going to become true plus an empty string 
plus false, like that, which becomes true false. And all of that is wrapped in parentheses to become one single value, which we then call length on. And that is where we get the number nine. Okay, so there we have our solution for all of these. I'll uh, close this and leave it on here so you can pause the video and copy down any of that that you want. All right, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments. Um, okay, so I've got a link down in the description to the starter code. I've got a link down in the description to that table with the order of precedence for all of the operators. So you can see an entire list of the operators. Uh, hope you had fun with this. I know it was kind of fun to do. I found this one uh, online just very recently. I thought it was a fun one to share with you guys. And as always, thanks for watching.